I'm Jonathan. I'm a mentor and past graduate of Prison Fellowship Academy, in North Dakota. Um, and the best thing that I've taken away from this academy is that I can learn from all people of all crimes, all backgrounds, non-criminals alike, and um, that, that we're all just people on a journey of change and that we're all capable of change and able to help each other change. Hello, my name is Benedict Hart. I'm here at uh, North Dakota State Penitentiary in the Prison Fellowship Program. The benefits I received from this program was a betterness within myself, a feeling of acceptance, love by my prison fellowship brothers. Um, it helped me learn to be a better parent, a son, a grandparent, just a better person in general. It helped me be a, find myself as a leader and someone that can help make a change through my voice. I hope you guys can hear this. Um, I'm thankful to Prison Fellowship for restoring me to a better person today. I think anything that we can do throughout our system, for years we've we've housed people. Um, North Dakota has always been a correction and rehabilitation state. At one point, I was, had read there was 70% of the prisons in the United States that were housing facilities. They weren't doing much other than that. And that isn't going to help anybody change if they are in prison because of their upbringing or trauma type things. None of that will change if they don't have any kind of belief in themselves or belief in anything else. If they just wait around until they get out, they're not going to change. And being housed can make people angrier. It's, you know, we, we look at the detention and, and the solitary time and how terrible that is. Uh, and it's something that had not been looked at before. Um, seeing the uh, different things that we've seen from some of the European countries, uh, Norway in particular at this point, uh, where they've been working on this for at least 100 years of how they do things over there, and, and they're building the, the guys. Um, they're, not, they're not giving them everything. Um, we don't give them everything here. They have to work for the things. But as long as we can give them the tools to do it and they decide to change, we're going to have a better place in our communities. The things that we're doing in North Dakota, the things that we're doing right here in, in our state, we, we want to keep it moving because we're finding it, it, it's good things and, and it's, uh, it's the only way we're going to change our system.